Hello, KTA Tigers, and hello, Dr. Lusher. Hello, Miss Tilly. Hello, Tigers. Welcome back from your nice long weekend. Yes, I hope everybody did have a good long weekend and a great day yesterday. Today is Tuesday, November 20th, November 30th, the last day of November, Dr. Lusher. Wow, wow it went so fast. 2021. So we have some great uh, shares for today. So starting off, these are some of my fourth grade friends and um, our fourth grade teachers, Ms. Bonomo, Ms. Mallon, and Mrs. Twait shared with us a project that they have been working on. And I was seeing lots of kids come in in the mornings and they had their big posters and some of them shared them with me. Really good work going on in fourth grade. So um, they did mystery map posters and they had to read a novel. So they chose a novel, read the novel, and then they had to create a poster that had certain criteria. So it had to include the setting somewhere on the poster, bubble maps of the main characters um, and their traits, explaining their traits, and then um, a sequence summary. And then all of the fourth graders voted on each of their class members' um, posters to see who would be the winner. So these people that you see in front of you, these amazing fourth graders, they were the winners from Ms. Bonomo's class. So congratulations. Wow, congratulations. You have some wonderful work there. And then here are the winners from Ms. Mallon's class. Nice. Congratulations to Ms. Mallon's Congratulations. class. Congratulations. And then in Mrs. Twaite's class, there was a tie for third place. So there are four winners up there. So wonderful wow. job. It looks like some Harry Potter's there too. Amazing. So, Look at the work that went into yes. these. Silly. That's a great, amazing. Lots and lots of hard work there. So great job, fourth grade. All uh, fourth grade gets another shout out. This is Mrs. Bonomo's fourth grade class. They earned enough to have the golden spatula, the golden award, and they got to eat outside. Congratulations for their great behavior in the multi-purpose room for lunch. Great job, fourth grade. Great job, Mrs. Bonomo's class. Way to go. Awesome. And this share you are going to love. I'm so excited. So it's a video coming up. And fourth grade, again, some of our fourth graders on the day um, before Thanksgiving last week, they had a celebration of their own. They had been learning about the Thanksgiving Day Parade and the history of the Thanksgiving Day Parade, and they decided to have their own parade. So they each made um, float balloons and paraded through the school. They got to visit lots of different classes. I heard they went to Ms. Fitzgerald's class. They went um, through the speech classroom and they came here through the office. So I got to see them. So but cute. they were so, so cute. They did such a good job. So here yeah. are some highlights of the parade. How fun. Great job, fourth expressions. grade. Their faces on the all the fun faces and characters, yep. those are great. Each of them so different, too. It was so much fun to watch, mm -hmm. just like a real parade. Yeah. Oh, and speaking of parades, this is another exciting, fun share. So Miss Miranda's class made this super duper poster for Miss Baca. We were doing different special things as students in K through five know to recognize our support staff, all of our duty teachers, our lunchroom ladies, our front office, all of the support staff that help us at our school. And some classes make cards, some people, uh, some classes drew pictures. And Miss Miranda's class did this really cool, awesome poster. And it was Mrs. Baca's Thanksgiving Day Parade and they were highlighting and honoring Mrs. Baca. And they made uh, those big, the drawings of parade um, balloons that were things that Mrs. Baca likes or things that, that she does, like they did a microphone because she uses the microphone in the NPR. 
to uh, ask them to trash out. Uh, they did a whistle because she helps them at duty. Um, they all kinds of fun things. They did sunglasses and her hat because that's what she wears when she's out on duty. So it was so clever and interesting. And Ms. Miranda, thank you for your class, everyone for doing that really fun job and thinking of those creative ways to say thank you to Mrs. Baca. And thank you to all of our support staff and students for your kind letters and cards to recognize all of the special people that are other than teachers that make our school really, really special and, and wonderful. So thanks, Ms. Miranda, and uh, thank you to everyone for recognizing our great support staff. Yes, thank you all. One more reminder, so tonight is the night. If you are interested in um, going out for dinner, maybe family can take the night off from cooking after all that Thanksgiving cooking. Tonight from four o'clock till eight o'clock, Florendino's restaurant night is um, going to be happening to help support our PTO. So if you can um, order out, you can go dine in and all of those proceeds, if you let them know that it's for um, KTA's PTO night, will go to our KTA PTO. So thank you so much for supporting that. All right, friends, I think with that, it is time for our moment of inspiration that is brought to us today by one of our multimedia students, our KTA Tiger Pledge, and then the Pledge of Allegiance. So I hope you have a wonderful day. Go Tigers! Go Tigers.